Welcome back to Montijo Madness. This is game week 31, and we have a big, big game against Don Benito. We got to win it. We have to maintain pace for this title push. Let's go. And we're here. It's the next game week. We're at Don Benito, uh, and we are here to try and defend ourselves, try to make sure that we uh, stay in this title contention. And here is the starting 11. It is going to be Bernabe and Net Madrigal Cardozo returns to the back line uh, after his suspension with the yellow card accumulation. Anibo and Martinez. Madrigal needs one more yellow to get suspended for the next game if that happens. Bartonero Kundul retains his midfield spot after such a good performance last week. Yeti uh, is his uh, also part of the three. Aqua and Pozo uh, on the wings with Catala up front. On the bench, Tienza returns back to the bench. Um... Javi Chino returns back to the bench after subsing, subbing in for Cardozo. Julio Rodao, Machado, um, Ibriqueta, Cristo, and then Canizo uh, on the bench. And then Sorayo drops down and Baragan drops as well. So, submit the team. All right, we are at Don Benito. Huge match. We got to take away points here if we're really in contention for the title here. Cause we got we got a gauntlet of difficult games, and we can't be going pear shaped here. We cannot be making this uh, run of losses because we could easily get spit out and then never even make the playoffs. Every single points, every single point we can get. Martinez, is this an opening salvo here? It's cleared away, Yeti gets to it, Lay, lays it back to Martinez. Oops, take it back, I don't appreciate that whatsoever. Alberto heel. Yeah, wins it back, Batonetto, great move. Great win back. I uh, decided to go to a counterattack as well, I decided just Let's uh, try and shift the tactics a little bit, be a little bit more defensive, um, and then just try to catch him on the counter here. Pozo lays it off. Kundul! Oh, it's blocked. Yeti! Oh, it's over the top. Kundul played so well last game. I just had to keep him in the starting 11. Alberto Hill. Just... Dings it. It's out to Cardozo. Who cares? Madrigal. Catala. Kundul. Catala hasn't scored in like three games so far. Pozo. Back to Catala. Lays it off to Kundul. Back to Catala. It's in! Ruben Catala! 21 goals in the season. Kundua lays it on a plate for him. Oh, Amadou gives it to him, lays it on a plate, and sure enough, that's a huge win. That's a huge, huge goal right there. 15 minutes into into this game here. Oh, a bad pass by Cardozo. Alberto Hill. He's one on one with the keeper. Oh, it's blocked. Martinez able to just get back there and get the block on. It's back and forth. Ortiz lays it up. And it's over. Doesn't hit it cleanly. Oh. No way. I'm going to try and encourage them. They, we're up against it now. This is going <laughs> to... This is a, a really, really rough spot now. 
What is Rodau doing? Cuts a lot all the way back to Yeti. I put him on the ball winning, ball winning midfielder. What was that? That was peculiar. And we win it back. Yeti lays it out. Martinez wins it over Alberto Hill. Pozo. It's out to Catala. Is he onside? Oh, he's just past the post. We're still creating chances. Don Benito, I'm surprised. Josue. Crossfield ball, but it's nobody in Pozo gives it away. Why did you do that? Carlos Lopez. Domingo. Out to Alberto Hill. You got one man in the box, maybe two. Carlos Lopez. Three men. Domingo, it's headed away. Mateo Santana heads it down. Gets a return ball. This is going to be... Oh, I'm going to be tense all game. This is horrible. This is horrible. Batanero, what are you doing? He's also, because he's got this red as well, he's got multiple games. Alberto Hill, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Yeah. Yeah, one-one. A counterattack. Why are we even going forward? Why are we even going forward? He's headed away, Josue. Herrera. Oh, Domingo is Josue. Oh, it's a good save by Bernabe. Pozo. It's blocked off the top of the, the wall there. Was that the shot? Was that the... Please don't tell me that was it. And it's headed away by Domingo. I can't believe we're actually like getting chances here. And it's headed away. It's Yeti able to get a hold of it. And that's offsides, right? Yeah, there we go. Pozo unable to get on sides because that's what I thought. Oh. If they keep doing these like crossfield balls, it's going to be horrible all day. Thank you, Yeti. Able to intercept. Ball out to Pozo. Uh, that was terrible. What? Don't ever try to do that again. Yet I. Any bow. Back to Yet I. Ugh. Thank you for winning it back. Thank you. Cardozo. Ball over the top. Pozo. Is he able to get to it? Heal the goalkeeper. Gets it out to the other heel. Uh oh. Alberto heel. Ball in the box. It's headed out. Heel gets it back. Alberto Heel. What can he do? Ah! Oh, thank God. It was trickling towards the line. All right. This has been a terrible half. Um, unlucky. I mean, we have been. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I don't want to go after David Batanero, if I'm honest. I just don't... He doesn't really like me anyways, so I don't want to just, like, come after him. I'll take a draw now. I mean, now it's like... With David Batanero getting a uh, a red card... Hold on, let's go back to that. <laughs> oh, my God. That's absurd. Just scissors him while the ball's in the air? Like, come on. Yeah, a little back to the Pozo. Oh, all right. 
Give me yellow. Martinez, get eye. Andy Bow. Able to turn the corner, get it to Catala. And it's all the way out to Madrigal. No support on that left side. Oh, it's Kundul. I don't know what he was trying to do, but it was blocked. And Espinar heads it away. Kundul able to intercept it. Rodao able to hold on to it now. And it's all the way back to, to Pozo. Yeti. Back to Pozo. Pozo! Oh, it's off the crossbar. Wow. Man. <sighs> okay. Oh no, Campare. He's on it, shoots, and it's terrible. So that's fine, we'll hold on to that. We'll take that. Team's feeling good. Let's keep it level. Herrera. Bernabe is able to palm it out. Mateo Santana hits it. Oh, what a save by Bernabe. Out for a corner. He just hammered that in for like 30, 35. Herrera. And he's able to hold on to it this time. Demand more. Recovering from a knock, Pozo. Interesting. Okay, so uh, let's go, let's put Christo on instead. I think I just took a shot and it was actually dangerous. Uh, right winger, yeah. I think that's all I'm gonna do. Honestly, I don't feel like I can really do much here. Unfortunately, Pozo is, uh, yeah, he's just not up for it right now, so I can't encourage the team. Madrigal, Kundul, Rodao, back to Kundul, and back to the center back. Now we're going out wide, Martinez. Christo, yet I, lays it off, it's Christo, oh, it's over the bar, let's uh, shift him to this side, I'm going to go on the offense, because, oh, Martinez is injured too, all right, we're going to, Swap him around. I feel like that's all I can do. That is all I'm going to do, I think. Christo. Yeah, lost the ball. That's terrible. Alberto Hill. Way out. Fran Perez. Oh, good block. Good block. Who was that? Probably Madrigal, honestly. And it's headed away. 83 minutes in. Pumps it into the ball again. Cardozo heads it away. Mateo Santana. Oh! 
Come Paure could not hold on to it. He couldn't get the clean touch. Fight. Just demand more. Fight it. We got to fight him. Ines Gonzalez. Oh, beautiful ball. Compare puts the ball in. Domingo. Oh, unbelievable. Are you? Oh. <laughs> no way. That should have been a goal. I don't know how that wasn't a goal. Oh, my God. Don Benito just absolutely spoiled that opportunity. I literally gave it to him twice. FM's probably so pissed at themselves for doing that. And I just... <laughs> That's, you'll never see that again. That's crazy. I can't believe I just that happened. 1-1, I'll take it. We should have gotten dominated probably 3-1. That The last two opportunities, yeah. we That's... There's no reason for us to draw that. I'll take it. Let's go on to the, let's roll the clips. This game was dead rubber. Malia at home to Darve. Uh, ended 1-1. Minyabres with a nice one-touch finish from a long cross from Dana Cuevas. And the second goal was a late one to level it up for the team based out of Africa. Uh, Santos hitting it in the top right corner. Both teams needed points. Both teams needed a win. Uh, and Estepona hosting Atletico Madrid B was that match. Ray Hani getting an early penalty in the 20 minutes in. Then a minute after halftime, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a ball that was just bouncing around at the basically three yards out, and Frodo was able to put it away. But uh, again, a point is not going to help either side. Uh, it might be for uh, the playoff qualification but not for the title. Uh, Cueto was able to capitalize on another defensive error in the 81st minute but Moreno, probably the most highly valued player, gets a own goal to make it a draw. This game felt as though it was always going to be this way. Uh, Castellano absolutely dominated Alcarcón B. Garcia on the score sheet early on, four minutes in. And really, there was, it was never in doubt. Alcarcón B are just a really poor side. They never got a foothold in the game whatsoever. And Casareño was able to dispatch them. Ivan Fernandez able to put a second goal in and then bag a brace 70 minutes in. And uh, again, Casareño were never in doubt. They were always going to win this game. Nova Carnero wanted basically everything but mathematical safety from this game. Winning 1-0. Guadalajara needed anything out of this game but couldn't. Losing 1-0 in a close match. Coria at home to Leganes was uh, a game that where, well, Coria didn't really care about this game that much. Their season is more or less done and dusted. But Leganes absolutely needed something out of this they could not lose this so getting a draw for them was um, a victory in a sense it kept them alive uh, to fight another day against easier opponents Pio Cassano are trying to stave off relegation and Villanovens are trying to get into the playoff promotion picture Hugo Russia starts it off 46 minutes in you know, with a nice hot start for the second half. However, they were unable to hold on to it. Dio Cassano's grit was no match with a flicked header from Bernal. And Buhan, the new loan signing from January, was able to dispatch it and take a point apiece. Sequermos and Segoviana getting a nil-nil draw. Sequermos is basically their season's done. No relegation or promotion uh, picture really for for either side of them. But Segoviana, they just needed something from this and they're able to fight another day. They staved off a defeat and their relegation rivals around them also get draws so they basically maintain the course. But ultimately, they really would have appreciated a win here but were unable to do so. And our last game of the week. Paso puts away Sardinola. First goal in two minutes. Aradon Santana 
uh, just to calm the fears. They don't necessarily play that well, and Serdignola does not necessarily play that well either. But uh, just the quality of finishing there, it helps out, and it ends 2-0. Paso gets a huge, crucial win. All right, it's the end of the game week. You've seen all the highlights, all the games, all the points that are earned. So Atletico Paso continue their reign of terror. Uh, they are 56 points now. They're three above me, so they are feeling well and truly above everybody else in that first place spot. I'm sitting uh, in second on 53. Don Benito is right behind me on 51. And Atletico Madrid B, Casareño finally able to get into the playoff spots in fourth and fifth on 50 points. Estepona dropped to the sixth spot also on 50 points. Vienovens, uh, their draw doesn't help them necessarily. They're on 47, and they need those points to get into the spots. Uh, Korea, 46 points in eighth place, and at the last part of uh, the top half, Adarve on 44. Sequemos start the second half of the table on 41 points. Naval Carnero, uh, they were, oh yeah, they beat Guadalajara, that's right. They're on 40 points. They're now seven points from safety. There are only nine points left, considering there's only three games left. So, they're effectively done. Malia, same thing, too, uh, after their recent draw. Dio Cassano, Segoviana, Guadalajara, they are all 34, 34, and 32, rounding off that the edge. There's really one place left for safety, considering that Malia and Navalcarnero are effectively safe. Uh, Legan SB on 30 points, four points from safety. Serdignola at 28 points. So, uh, considering there's only nine points left for grabs out of the last three games here, uh, what is very, very difficult to see is them getting out of this now. I mean, they are, you know, two points away from Leganes and Guadalajara, or sorry, from Leganes, but then another four, so it's six points from nine. You have to, all, you got to hope that other teams drop points as well. It's, it definitely looks like you're going to be down. I'm sorry to say it, Sardinola, you look down. Uh, you don't have any team. You also don't have any games against the other teams that are down there with you. So there's not. It's not like you actually can really control your your destiny by defeating teams that are around you. Leganes, they have a game against Guadalajara, so that is something that they're able to do. You know, and take on Alcorcon as well. The la the last two games of the the season, Guadalajara here. I mean, Korea, Leganes, Malia. It's it's getting down the wire when you're when you're. Uh, whoops, my goodness. Um, when you're down here, so let's see what happens. And that is, uh, you know, that's basically the end of the game week here. You know, we got uh, no changes to the goals, no changes to the assists. Uh, Garci for Casadeño is now on ten, um, but Ruben Katsala, player of the match, uh, Estepona with Razak Brima. Also, that's uh, very important, but uh, the goal is two. So let's hop on over. We got Villanovens and Malia. Uh, that's a, uh, you know, Villanovens need that. Malia doesn't necessarily need it because they're, they're uh, six points from safety, and they're pretty much fine. Um, and Villanovens need it to see if they can get to the picture. They need basically wins now. Guadalajara at home to Cordia. Uh, I mean, Guadalajara, they need anything they can get all points possible uh to get that safety secured cordia are done basically four points off with uh three games left is pretty much uh almost impossible you need other teams to drop if you're going to start winning um so go beyond at home to uh estepona again estepona is pretty much done the title race i would say the same thing for atletico madrid b and casareño and don benito it's now a two horse race with three games left Paso and myself, uh, three points away from each other. So uh, Estepona just need to maintain, or they actually need to crack into that playoffs push. They could get slipped. Uh, they could slip out of here. Uh, Segoviana, they are just on the other side, the wrong side of relegation here. Adarve at home to Dio Casano. Dio Casano again on the right side. However, they're dangerously close to that relegation spot. And Adarve are secure, and they're. They got nothing to play for. Atletico Madrid be at home to Atletico Paso. Um, Paso need it. They need this victory. Atletico Madrid be at home could be spoilers potentially if they can get a draw or a loss, and uh, you know if they if they are able to win. 
Alcorn B at home to Don Benito. Don Benito would, would need it. Alcorn B are already done. Sardinola at home to Nava Carnero. Sardinola have to win this game if they have any intention at all to stay up. Nava Carnero basically up. Legan SB, um, they also need wins. They need a win as well. Um, and so grandmas don't. And then myself at home to Casadeno. Uh, again, we have very, very difficult games. And this is the last. Uh, this is the next edition of those uh, last four games that are basically everybody at the top here. So I'm at home to Casadeno in the late kickoff for the round. But this is it. This is Montijo Madness. Uh, I am Jack City. And let's see you in game week 32. Uh, as we get down to the not, like the very 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 end here, it's now m- between Paso and myself for the title. Assuming there is no Black Swan event where we just go on a big losing streak. But thank you, I'm enjoying it, and I hope uh, to see you in the next one.